Okay, so now when we have the information about our company and our invoice, we need to add the information about our customer, right? So let's call this bill, uh, bill two. Okay, and uh, here we can't simply copy the values because the customer's data might have empty columns in in their data. So we want to skip that. And also we want to format it from the row to column. Okay. What we're going to do here, we will create the new uh, sheet and we'll call it Hayden uh, build two. So I'm just putting H like for Hayden. Uh, after we'll do this, we'll hide this sheet. And here we will apply some formulas. So let's write like query. Now we have uh, customers A2 to J. Okay. Now let's add the actual query here. So we want to select. Uh, then we want to select the C. Uh, C column D, E, F, G, H, Y, G and B at the end. Okay, so yeah, as we can see, it selected all the data from our customers, uh, from our customers table. So the one thing we've put at the email at the end and we can see here that it's like uh, skipped the value. So this is because we have different types of values and query is skipping. So like if it's first number, so it will skip the text values in, in other uh, rows. Okay. So to fix this, we need to apply the number format here and let's look, reformat it to plain text. Now when we come back, so we see that our value is visible in this table also. Good. So yeah, so one more thing. So now we've just queried all the data, but we actually need the data only about one customer. So what we're going to do, so we will add the condition here by writing the where and then a equals and here we need to add the value from invoice data equals to invoice data b1 okay good so yeah so now it shows only one row with the customer information and for example let's change this to for, for this customer and we see that it's automatically uh, added all the values here Okay, so now we want to uh, change the direction of the row to be as a column. So like from horizontal to vertical. So what we will do, we will add the formula called flatten. Like this. Okay, now what else I want to do is I want to add the values. So let's put this like, let's put at one more column at the left. And I want to have like word from next to the company number and VAT number. So same as in the preview, I want to have like company number, like text. And here's that VAT number text next to the actual number. So to do that, we can uh, simply create following stuff So now we have this 
values next to the actual actual numbers, right? So these empty values are not visible here, but actually it is here. And we have we have to have same amount of uh, rows in both columns. So like the last one should be this one. Yeah, and we see that it's like the last one. So in case we want to add some more values here, so a, let's say a value, we also need to have like one more value here. Okay, okay kind of like this. So the last one will be this. Okay, uh, yeah, so but now we don't need that. And we don't need this a. Okay, so let's combine this. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this value. Okay, and like this. Ta-da! So now we can remove this part. Again, so the result is the same. The thing is that we've combined all the data in one cell and it's applied to like to multiple columns and rows. And now we need to write the query to get data from this part, so like from these nine rows, and skip the data that is empty in B column. Okay, so we need to just write query. Yeah, everything. So let me do it a bit bigger. Okay. So this is the actual data what we're going to query, like where we are going to query from. And now we need to write the, I'm sorry, we need to write the actual condition, like the action query. So like this, we need to write select, like select everything, where, call to, is not null. Good. Now we can see that this empty value has gone. And for example, there might be cases when there will be like no VAT number, for example, right? So there might be companies or persons without VAT number. So in our case, in our case, this text is also gone. So it will be applied only the values without any VAT number or anything. Okay. Go back and add this VT number. All right, so one more thing to add to do is to again remove all the unused rows and columns. Okay, now let's go back to invoice preview, and here we need to add all this data, but as I mentioned before. We have like two columns, but we need to add it like to be visible only in to be visible only in one column here, right? So we'll do this with help of array formula. Array formula. Then we want these two values to be combined, so we can use uh, concat. And now let, let's write like query. Now let's have less our uh, should name and then the values are from a1 to b okay and here's simple formula simple query select everything everything where b is not null and yeah so we need to select here a and we can copy this value put the comma and paste it and change the A to B. So actually what this does, it queries the data from those two columns, but selects in this case A and in this case B, because we want to see the B values, like is it empty or not, right? And now let's close all the 
index. Here we are. So all the data is in one column. Okay, so now if we go here and change, for example, the customer, it will be automatically applied here, as you can see, right? Okay, so that's it for this video. And if you like this video, click the like button. Also write your comments, questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See ya.